This is a rare clip of Bill Walton talking about his relationship with the Grateful Dead and members of the Grateful Dead talking about their relationship with Bill Walton and the connection between sports and music. It's a great clip. Basketball fans are going to love this. Grateful Dead people are, are really going to enjoy Jerry, obviously, obviously into sports. Don't you love seeing Jerry happy in interviews and talking about things he loves, like the Frankenstein movies and stuff? He loves sports. And he, he gets named Fan of the Week. Favorite team? I'm going to leave you guessing. Cleveland people are going to like this clip because it was hosted by Robin Swoboda. She had burst onto the Cleveland news scene a few years earlier and, and really became its star and was rewarded with a syndicated series co-hosting with Ahmad Rashad called In Sport, and it lasted a couple of years. And she does a great job introducing this segment. Yo, 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 Robin. Bill Walton is the Grateful Dead's biggest fan, literally. The six foot 11 basketball legend can recite lyrics from almost all of their songs. The NBA's 1978 MVP had a career riddled with injuries and disappointments. But through all the ups and downs, the Redhead's been a deadhead. They're still his favorite team today, almost 20 years since he first started trucking to their music. All shining on me. Well, I used to be a great basketball player. I, I'm no longer a great basketball player. I can't play at all anymore, but my main goal was always to win. And I never really cared if I scored X amount of points or, or got X amount of rebounds. It was basically do whatever it takes to win. And that's, that's the name of the game in basketball. It's the name of the game in life, I think, is winning. And uh, hey, we're gonna win tonight. There's a great Grateful Dead show. And, there's nothing else, you know, happening that's any better. We were playing at a place, a theater in uh, Portland. I guess is when Bill was on the tra in the Trailblazers. He was the only one in the audience. I thought everybody else was sitting down, and of course they were standing up, and he was standing up too. And so I, I was thinking to myself, well, there's a truly tall individual. You know, and somebody says, hey, that's Bill Walton. Um, that, 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 that was the show. Playing in a band and playing on a basketball team, I'm sure, are very, very similar. I've never played in a band. It's similar in that it requires, first of all, tremendous discipline. Everybody plays a, a supportive, a role that supports everybody else. Uh, at, at some point, you can be a star, but you still have to you still have to relate to the team. It's the thing of seeing a team perform exceptionally well, beyond even what you would expect them to be. I know Jerry often refers to to Bob as the uh, the doctor of tempo. Well, in basketball, controlling tempo is key, and uh, everybody's trying to do that. So I guess the one who succeeds is really the doctor of tempo. It's not enough just the thing of being a professional and being paid to do the job. You know what I mean? It's those nights when it's beyond that. It's beyond your love of the game. It's magical. It's magic. That's all. Together and keeps his outlook and his attitude right. I don't look back. In fact, uh, over the course of my basketball career, I've had I've had many many setbacks and many uh, pitfalls that I've stumbled into, and it's just. That's something you know, that I've learned and that I've, uh, I've uh, you know, received a lot of encouragement and help from my friends, particularly here in the Grateful Dead, about, uh, you know, don't look back. Just keep going and something good will happen. Inside your brain, I can see clear through. Your eyes tell more you mean them too. Lit up and flashing. That's a nice show. That was the kind of show that made you want to jump up and down and go, yeah, I'm a dead end. Real proud. The Coors Fan of the Week is Jerry Garcia. I'm a homeboy, you know, hey, what can I say? That's our team, you know, I'm from here. And the 49ers, I've been watching the 49ers since the 50s, you know, when I was a kid. You know, that's, that's my team. 
Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw on Cleveland Live Music, make sure to click on the subscribe oh. icon. And Patreon and, and GoFundMe information is, is below as well. Keep it going. Keep it going.